Hello, you guys. Today, I'm starting a new thing called Minifigure Monday. I know what you're thinking. I already have Mock Monday, but that... It's not going to be going away. I'm just probably not going to be doing it as frequently because, as you would probably think, it's pretty difficult to make mocks every week. But, like, just out of my head. But I'm going to still try and get some of those videos out. I still have a couple more mocks to uh, show, and I can still make some more. So Mock Monday is not completely going away. But I'm starting another thing to do in the meantime, which is Minifigure Monday. So to kick it off, I'm going to start off with a couple of characters that I made from the Spider-Verse uh, movie coming out this December, if you're watching this um, before then. And these figures are not going to be um, painted, uh, molded, or anything like that. If you do want minifigures that are like that, go check out LEGO Customs now. Um, he makes some really good customs like that. Um, another, I kind of take a bit of inspiration from this, not trying to copy anyone, but, uh, people like Mini Superheroes Today and Brick Rose UK, other, um, big people in the Lego minifigure, uh, YouTube community, so, if that's a thing, but, yeah, I'm going to kind of start doing something kind of like what they're doing, I'll try not to copy any of their ideas, I won't copy any of their ideas, and as of the time of this recording, they haven't made any of these characters yet, I believe, so, or at least these versions. So yeah, um, without further ado, I'm going to get into them now. Uh, also, another thing is that a lot of the time, I'm probably going to do one or two figures. This is just, you know, the start of it, so I'm going to be doing four. So the first figure that it's going to be is going to be Miles Morales, the main character from the Spider-Verse movie. Yeah, so he... I use the other, you know, the regular um, Miles Morales torso right there, the one that comes on the actual figure for him. I used the short, uh, well, posable legs that came in a lot of the figures in the Harry Potter minifigure series, more specifically Neville or Cho, the ones who come with the completely blank black legs. And on the arms, those are Mr. Incredible's arms from the... Um, um, Disney minifigure series. I'm not entirely sure if he had those same arms in the actual, um, like, sets for The Incredibles 2. Um, but yeah, if so, those would be an easier, um, like, way to obtain those. The face I got from Finn from The Last Jedi. Um, he came in the, one of the smaller sets, so that's gonna be an easier one to get. The frightened face over there, and here, more happy expression. His hair, since it's kind of like floofy, I try to use the closest thing I can find to that. A great other acceptable hair piece would be Nakia's from Black Panther, um, or Lando's, because that's another character that that hair piece comes on. But this one's just the um, regular spiky hair, which can come on a lot of figs, so it's pretty common. I don't know any specific figures that it actually comes on. But yeah, another great one to use um, is Nakia's hair. This is probably not the best, most accurate one to use. And then, instead of putting black hands, um, um, continuing from the black part of the arm, I used red instead because he kind of has red, like, hand, glove sort of thing. And then the top is red because it kind of continues from this red pattern right there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for him. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's that. And then for the next figure, and probably the most simple figure... This is middle-aged Peter Parker. Um, so he, he has just some plain gray legs, not specific to any figure. They're very common. Uh, I used the more outdated Spider-Man suit, the one that we had for like four years. from No, more like three years. But yeah, kind of the older one, I think like 2014 or something like that. And now they finally have a new one, so that's good. But I'm not using the new one because he's more of a brighter Spider-Man and kind of has more of the older suit and it looks a lot like this one so i chose to use this one and i just gave him some uh the um, same skin tone as his face hands because it kind of shows that he's not completely wearing the suit same with the gray legs that i use because he's kind of wearing sweatpants for a lot of the movie at least from what we've seen in the trailers for the face i used poe dameron's face from the uh, new sequel trilogy sets from Star Wars, so I guess uh, Last Jedi and Force Awakens, so that's... I, it's, I guess it's kind of easy to get, but most of the sets that Poe comes in are like above 50 bucks, so... Not that simple, I guess. Uh, his hair, 
Also a very common one. It's just the uh, brown spiky hair. Same as Miles Morales, but in brown. So, yeah, that, that one should be pretty easy to get. I don't know any specific characters it comes on. I mean, it came on that Hawkeye in that one Civil War set, but that's only one I could think of off the top of my head. So that's it for that figure. And the next one is Penny Parker, the controller of the Spider Mech. So I tried to capture her design as kind of like an anime sort of character in um, the Spider-Verse movie. I tried to get as close as I possibly could to that, and I felt that the best possible face to use is this one. Uh, it's kind of the more like the little girl face. Um, I got this one specifically from the Susan Bones figure in the Hogwarts Great Hall set, because that, that is a minifigure that this face comes on. They also have it in yellow, but I didn't think it would work in yellow because, you know, um, matching all the other characters, that wouldn't remain consistent um, with the realistic look of them. And I gave her, because she kind of has the more short anime hair sort of thing, and when you think of anime and Lego, you should automatically think Ninjago. So I got this hair piece from Cole from the Lego Ninjago movie minifigure series because I felt like the kind of more messy anime hair look works pretty well for that. And she has a backpack here, which not sure, I think this came on a Skydiver minifigure in one of the minifigure series though. So that's where that is because she's kind of, um, yeah, she would have a backpack because she has a kind of a school uniform thing that she's wearing. I'm pretty sure that's what she's supposed to be wearing in the movie. She has this kind of a vest thing. It came on the graduate minifigure from series five. I think that's a thing, right? And I had to search it up, but I feel like I don't recall that actually being a figure from that series. And I just gave her some white arms because it's kind of more of a vest and you can see the white shirt underneath and it continues to the outside like that. And then for her uh, skirt and legs, those both come from Cho Chang from the Harry Potter minifigure series because she just kind of have a skirt to go with the school uniform thing, and just like Miles Morales, I did use the shorter legs, um, cause she's also a kid. So that's pretty much it for her. And now on to the last one, which is Spider-Man Noir. So this one is, yeah, um, I'm gonna explain how that cape is put on in just a minute. There's only one problem with this figure, and that is it has this alternate expression, which you could easily cover up with some sort of hat. Like, he is wearing kind of a fedora in the movie. I don't have one of those, but um, that would work to maybe cover up that face. Or you could try and erase that somehow. I might try and put that in some of my, that technique in some, some of these figures. And I gave him two pistols, because that's kind of what he has. And then for the torso, I felt like the most accurate one for him is the one from the Biff, or Biff, something like that, from the uh, Moss Eisley Cantina back in 2014. Um, I guess if you don't recognize the name, the um, Moss Eisley Cantina, like, band singers would be a good, um, yeah, would be a good torso to use for this. That's what that torso is. Because you just kind of have the buttons over there, so I felt that worked pretty well. For the face, I forgot to, I probably should have said that before, is the one from Magneto from the Mighty Micros sets, so and you can probably tell from this back facial expression. I felt that that works on, like, any Black Spider-Man sort of costume. So, like that face, because it looks a lot like a Spider-Man thing that would work a lot. I believe many superheroes today use that for a symbiote Spider-Man, which I felt worked pretty well. And then for the hips, I used, um, I'm not entirely sure, but I got those from these legs that look kind of like they had to do something with a zombie. I'm not sure. Anything with a belt on it um, would work, and that's that's pretty common if you have a figure with um, belt printing there. So any type of black belt printing would work there. And for the legs, I used, um, uh, what, what, yeah, Shade. I used Shade's legs from the Lego Ninjago um, pack for, uh, it came with the three figures. It came with Ash, Shade, and uh, Skylar. So those legs work pretty well, I think. 
because they're the dual molded ones with the gray and the black because like you know gray just pants and then black boots so i think that looks pretty good and then i'm going to show you how i put that cape on it's pretty simple but it does kind of mess up the cape just a little bit but since he's kind of wearing a trench coatish type thing in the movie i thought i couldn't just give him a cape so i had to take the normal cape put it under that arm and then like it's like this you, you take each side and you put it here I feel like they should start making some sort of like trench coat piece because that that would work pretty uh, well and I think that'd be useful for a lot of things that they could do in the future but they have not done that yet and it will be a great day when they will when they start doing that if they ever do um, but yeah that's pretty much that and that's how you do that trench coat thing it's not the best um, you could just leave it off entirely or just give him a cape because that would work just as well I guess but that's pretty much just that for him and yeah with even without the cape thing I think it still looks pretty good and yeah that's pretty much just it for him too if you wanted you could probably erase the back facial expression and that's yeah that's pretty much it for that figure and that's pretty much just it for all of them all right so I'm just gonna put them all out here so you can see them at the end there we go I hope you enjoy this new idea of the minifigure Monday thing uh, once again it's not entirely replacing walk Monday I'll still try and do those just not as often and uh, yeah I like this idea of making the figures like this not using any paint or anything just using simple minifigure parts with maybe a couple modifications just to make the figures like this so yeah i'm gonna try and keep doing this and mock monday at the same time i hope you did enjoy this first video and i hope you take the tips to build these figures and yeah uh thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time